more futuristic than that and I really don't know how the girls got into those pants. I think the rest of fashion is kind of moving again and towards sort of a tougher, slicker, harder, uh, more urban, aggressive look. I thought the show was spectacular but it was very just scary and it was very looking forward and I think it's nice to see something looking forward. Everything here was a little bit different because I think that women change. So I'm going with that. I'm just everywhere I'm looking at their need, at their dream, at their life, and I'm going forward with that. injection of a really youthful, sexy, sharp woman in that collection. And I think the first few dresses were really sex to me. to mix between glamour and newness. I like to mix between new technology and fabric, which are parachute fabric and, and techno fabric and silicone fabric and paper and metal satin to mix it with handwork of an atelier. <laughs> Beautiful collection with all nice dresses, really soft ones, and beautiful fabrics. It's so edgy and beautiful and great, and I love I love every piece in the collection. It's just amazing.
I love to wear his, his dresses in the shows and everything drapes really, it falls nicely on any body shape. And obviously he loves to dress women, so he can make a dress look beautiful in any shape, which is really nice. These clothes are just beautiful and, and um, elegant, but you can put them on easily and just anyone would look great in them. So that's what I love, and the fabric and the colors and this, like the cut for women, it's very good. The very first passages, they maintain, if you want, these kind of urban looks, you know, more considered, a bit more like I'm in the city and I run my business. And then, you know, the fact that I left the doors open to feel the city and to walk on a field, that was the journey that I meant, you know. It's an emotional journey from what the city to the nature, you know, which normally is what you look for, you know, in summer. tried to show in this collection was to uh, do clothes that they're timeless which is a bigger challenge you know because you can be easily trendy nowadays uh, I didn't want to be trendy I just wanted to be a, a sort of forever and what's more forever than Celeron <laughs> He's created very new kind of style and everybody started wearing it straight away. I love it. <laughs> the greater the DDs, the higher the ACs. Psycho acoustics down in the back seat. Stereo nation amplification. Great and the righteous, safe in the house. This is my first 
runway show ever. And it just so happens to be the designer that's in my closet. You know, the designer that has allowed me to walk into meetings and make me feel powerful and make me feel at my most feminine and, and, and my most strong. <laughs> Just cheeky little things, um, just maybe the way that the side was open. You know, they were quite subtle. It's all very dressed, but if you look for it and you turn, you see there's something else maybe a little bit cheeky and a little bit sexier than you first imagined. So. It was very, very Saint Laurent. I personally like, but not because I like the clothes or something that I could wear or something that I could buy. Because I think it was very good line from the beginning to the end. It was just uh, well, chic, uh, elegant. Uh, anyway, it was an effort to don't be a fashion, a trend of the moment, but to give an idea of what must be very gorgeous Saint Laurent. I love it because the clothes are different. There's something like a very specific style about it, but they're so beautiful and they make a woman look really pretty. creative just a really creative person very beautiful at the same time creative beautiful elegant what else can you get you know I was really not aware that you could actually use that sort of technology within clothing. It was really magical, an incredibly brave thing to do, and went off perfectly and seamlessly. And the clothes are beautiful. It wasn't like just a, a show of showmanship. I thought there were incredibly beautiful pieces in there.
basically, I laid out all the garments. I, I drew out all the things from all the garments I thought were representative of different eras and decades. And I thought, well, how can I cross these over? So there's actually quite a lot of cross-pollination of what elements you can borrow from one era and use them in the next one. So there was actually trial and error, going back and forth, re-sketching, etc. It was very much an experiment that I think uh, that I was lucky enough that it worked at the end. <laughs> It was an extraordinary combination of commercial and fantastical and uh, an encapsulation of the evolution of fashion in, uh, in four outfits and less.